All right, guys. Continuation of our video. I have replaced the PCV valve and the spark plugs. So pressure control valve and spark plugs. Let's see if it helped to reduce the smoke on the startup. The moment of truth. Hey guys and we're back with another uh, episode of our car repair video uh, here we're working on a 2011 Toyota Camry hybrid with a 2.4 liter engine the vehicle does smoke on a startups so when it's uh, staying for more than 24 hours overnight at the parking spot if you start it up anytime earlier than that there is no smoke so only smoke happens when the car is staying for more than 24 hours on a parking lot and uh, based on the videos on the YouTube it seems like it's the leaky valve seals and I have found a YouTube video where um, where a few gentlemen figure out a formula with uh, this particular products that you're currently seeing in front of you and the formula is written right here on the bottle and I'm gonna attempt to mix up exactly the formula, exactly the volumes together and uh, uh, I'm gonna have to add it to my oil. So basically it's about one liter of uh, mix up products that you have to add to your oil. So if you have approximately four to four, four and a half liter oil uh, uh, volume of your engine that need it uh, you will need to take about a quart, quart, one quart, which is approximately, approximately one liter, and you have to replace it with this particular mix. And the mix is, we're going to have to get five ounces or 142 grams of gum out, which is this particular tune-up uh, multi-system gum out. Uh, so we're going to need five ounces or 142 grams. This uh, can is 473 milliliters, 16 ounces. So. That's what we're working with, number one. Number two, we need six ounces or 170 grams of Marvel. And we're talking about the Marvel Mystery Oil. I have opened this package already and tried it for a treatment. So currently we're at uh, 20 ounces or about 591 milliliters. So we have enough to mix up. We'll need about six ounces or 170 grams, which is probably around uh, one third of it. So something like this. And after that, we're gonna need to add one full bar leaks, two sides. So we're gonna use this right here, bar leaks, high mileage engine repair. It comes with both sides. One is uh, for, uh, I guess, uh, increasing the compression of horsepower. And second one is stops leaks, noise and smoking. So it looks like this. This is what it is. There you go. Formula A, restores performance, high tech additive, friction modifier, stop leak treatment, and formula B, adds on protection with oil stabilizer, viscosity, improvement on seal conditioners. So that's probably why we are adding extra of this because of the seal conditioners. So we're gonna add one full one of this, and uh, it's 500 milliliters. And I have another one, which we're only gonna need uh, one side, which is the bar leak side, the light color one, and it's uh, this one right here, which will be, the one that gonna give us uh, the actual uh, uh, effect of uh, 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 that we're looking for for our uh, seals. So we're gonna uh, moisturize the seals, make them more uh, uh, softer, uh, make sure that the uh, sealing the valves better, and there's no more leak of oil while the vehicle is sitting. So let's start with this. So I have a plastic uh, cup right here that I already measure three ounce and five ounce 
And why I did that is uh, we only need uh, five ounces of gum out, so it'll be here. And we need six ounces of marble, so I'll get two of these guys right here, so twice. And after that, we're going to use one full bar leaks and one one side bar leaks. So let's start. I'm going to start with a gum out system. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to open the canister as it's brand new. All right. And we're going to need five ounces. So let's go for five ounces, guys. Five ounces. Yes, this much. With five ounces of gum out, which is multi system tune up for gas, ethanol, and diesel and oil. By the way, all this is going to the engine just to make sure that you guys understand. Five ounces is in. Now we need six ounces of marble. So we're gonna do. Hold on, let me open it up. We need uh, three ounces and three ounces. So we're gonna do three ounces. That's three ounces. I'm gonna pour that in our mix. And we're gonna add another three ounces. So the total will be six ounces or about 170 grams. Three ounces. Mix it up. All right. Now we're done with the cap. So we're gonna remove the cap. Clean up our surface. And continue with our mix. We need one full bar leaks, two sides. I'm going to open this guy in. And as you can see, both sides are sealed. We're going to puncture both sides and open them up. Since we need both of them, what we're going to do is we're going to actually add both at the same time. And I'll show you how it's going to look like this. As you can see, the consistency of this is different. One is more liquidy, one is more thicker additive. And that's how slow it goes in there. So let's fill this one in. Make sure we have some air coming through. All right, so this one's a little bit thicker than I was expecting, so it'll take some time to get it in. But as you can see, one is more liquidy, one is thicker one. We need the more liquidy type, which is gonna be a half of one side by leaks. So we're gonna need this right side, which is blue. So we add an uh, additional blue, one right side, this one right here, blue. Which is for uh, high tech additives, friction modifier, stop leak treatment. And that's about it guys, we're going to continue pouring it in I'm going to take a quick break and uh, finish pouring in the first one and continue on the second Alright guys, so as you can see One is done, empty, both sides This one we already filled in Marvel Mystery is already filled in and we have the last, which is the softener part, half of this bottle of engine repair bar leaks. Only the light color one, the more liquidy power part, that's the one we're going to be adding up. So we're almost done with the thick part right here. And as you can see, we're at about right here, which is almost a liter. And we should have about a liter of the whole mix. So let's open this guy up. Let's uh, get the correct side, which is the right side, which is, as you can see, the more liquidy side, the lighter color one. You can see the bubbles showing up quickly on a side that is more liquidy. So we we'll make a hole there, and we add it up. 
and let's add it up. The liquidy side goes in, and as you can see, the consistency is much, much different from the more thicker side. It is going smoother and faster, and we're almost emptying the whole half. All right, guys, so let's continue filling this one. And this is the consistency we need. This is the mix we need. This is the oil treatment. If that works, I will definitely post the link to the video, the original video, and uh, tag the channel. But uh, here we go. This is my experiment on uh, 2011 Toyota Camry Hybrid 2.4 liter four cylinder engine. Uh, smoke on a startup only when the car is sitting for more than 24 hours. And uh, based on the video that I've watched, it's a 99.9% .9 valve seals. So we're treating valve seals for this mix. It's a valve seals issue. But in general, smoke on the startup on any vehicle starts up for a few seconds, maybe five seconds, six seconds of a smoke, and then it stops smoking. This is the treatment, guys. So I'm experimenting. I'll let you know the results. But uh, this is the end of the video. This is the menu, as we can see. And this is the last drip of the mix. So thank you for watching. I'll let you know how it goes. And uh, yeah, see you in the next video. Good morning, good morning. And this is a new update for the car repair video. We're working on 2011 Toyota Camry Hybrid. We have a smoke on a startup. We have uh, replaced the oil with uh, the mix that uh, we pulled from one of the YouTube videos. And today's the first day uh, since the vehicle had the oil replaced. Well, not the oil replaced, but some portion of the oil replaced with the mix of uh, different liquids and substances as per YouTube. So let's start the car and see how much smoke we have coming up right now. It's a day after the uh, mix was introduced into the engine oil. I do need to drive about two, 300 kilometers on this substance to start working, but let's see how the first day will work. So we continue our saga. This is day number three. Testing our um, liquids, additives to the oil to reduce uh, the smoke on the startup. So this is day number three. Let's see if we have some progress. Four. Let's continue our testing. Very small amount of smoke. 
five of testing after applying the mix to the oil to reduce the um, smoke on the startup. So let's continue day five. guys that's about day five or day six I have traveled about a hundred kilometers on the vehicle and let's see if we still have any smoke and as you can see we have barely any smoke left and uh, it seems normal it seems like there's no more white smoke in the startup so yeah uh, when uh, we're, we're winning this one yes I definitely recommend try out this uh, mixture guys if you have any problems with smoke on the startup I got the answer day number six about 150 to 200 kilometers and let's see if we have any smoke Testing, testing, one, two, three. Another 50 kilometers under the belt. So we're at about 200 kilometers since the liquid was introduced into the well. Let's see if we have any smoke. And this is approximately day six or seven after the oil mix introduced. A little smoke in the beginning, not as much as before, but still a little smoke. Test, test, test. We continue our testing. Day number 10. Do we have any smoke? guys so it's been about two weeks uh, we keep on uh, uh, we keep the record of all uh, all the fumes coming out basically every day I do use um, a fuel injector cleaner meanwhile so that might be increasing the amount of fuel I mean the amount of uh, fumes coming from the exhaust pipe so I'm gonna run another probably around 100 kilometers in the next two three days and get rid of the fuel injector cleaner and hopefully it's gonna clean up a little bit but uh, let's see if we still have some fumes coming up
testing. It's a second week. And we're still burning some uh, fuel saver slash injector cleaner. So we have some smoke coming up because of that. Still smoking. And two weeks after the treatment, we have some uh, darkening on our exhaust. So some oil is coming out, I guess some, some burning is happening. There might be still the cleansing of uh, the valve seals and uh, it might be the cleansing of uh, the system with the uh, engine, uh, well actually with the gasoline additive that uh, cleans the valves, uh, not the valves, cleans the injectors. So let's see if we still have some fumes coming out, if it's still that bad or if it's improved. later and 5,000 kilometers later. Let's see how much smoke we still have. So it's been about a month, about 5,000 kilometers, and uh, yeah, let's start up and see if there's any smoke. Job, and as you can see, barely any 